And we're now taking you to live images broadcast from a television station in Juarez, Mexico, reportedly under rebel control. Comandante, el presidente Ruiz Peña has called for an immediate ceasefire. What are your thoughts? We cannot agree to a ceasefire so long as our president and those of the United States and Canada are considering to enact the North American Joint Security Agreement, which is simply an excuse for the Americans to take control of our foreign policy, not only in Mexico, but across Latin America. Hate to interrupt show, Captain Mitchell, but we're now approaching the bridge. I've got a visual on your rebel weapons convoy. Multiple soft targets. Copy that. Scott, get on the gun. We can't let those weapons reach what ends. Supply base. Permission granted. Scott, incoming video on your HUD now. Comandante, given all the destruction that has taken place across Mexico, would you go so far as to declare war on the U.S.? We will defend our country, just as our brothers in Colombia and Panama who have taken up arms in support of our cause. No nasa. The U.S. meddling in Mexican affairs, we want the U.S. out of Latin America. And if they send forces to stop us, they will have a most unpleasant surprise. Not this one, Mitchell. By unpleasant surprise, De La Barrera means Ukrainian Red Star 4s, three Soviet-era nuclear warheads that went missing in 1991. And nobody knows how in the hell they ended up in our backyard. Okay, we're at the camp. Look sharp on that 134, Captain.
other side of the mountain. We'll wait for them there. Okay, Scott, let's give these guys a little surprise. about did you see those weapons blow that was freaking unbelievable absolutely totally what are you celebrating blackhawk 5 this ain't over yet proceed to juarez so we can finish this thing off yes sir yes sir sorry sir absolutely sir en route to juarez sir captain mitchell i've got lieutenant barnes in my ear he's patching through some video and the National Guard has put a 10-mile evacuation corridor in effect as government officials fear a mass exodus of undocumented immigrants from Mexico as the fighting in Juarez escalates. And the rebel insurgency has spread across Central America. For more, let's go to Marco Zambrota in Panama. The rebels here have taken control of the canal, and there are now reports that Pakistani cargo ships have been seized, though what they had on board remains unclear. I can tell you, Mitchell. Two crates of Pakistani-built medium-range Kashmir-2 missiles, and our intel has now confirmed they're bound for Juarez. All right, Mitchell, it's bad enough that the rebels possess those Ukrainian nuclear warheads, but if they get their hands on those Kashmir missiles, they'll be able to strike anywhere in the U.S., and we can't let that happen. I'm not going to pull any punches. Juarez is street-to-street -street combat with loyal Mexican soldiers fighting rebels, and you can't tell the two apart. Your first objective will be to destroy two rebel checkpoints. And remember, you and the ghosts aren't in Juarez. Is that clear? Clear as crystal, General. Good. Then make us proud, son. And, uh, welcome to Juarez.